Okay, so I hope you guys can see. This is the Hobby Lobby mirror that the original price is $170. I got it for 50% off, so it's $84.99. It's this beautiful arch mirror with the black frame around it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to sell the other one on Facebook. It, I did have a time trying to put it up because it's heavy. I was doing it by myself and just trying to get it hooked on the back. But um, sorry for the lighting and the noise, but from this angle and how little the, the hallway is, uh, this is the best I can do to kind of show you guys this home update. But I think it looks beautiful. Um, I do have a nice little black table I got from Ross that I can put in this corner when I change out the fall decor and start to set things up for Christmas and uh, different seasons. But yeah, you guys, this was so worth it. I do wish that it would it came down longer. I thought it did because it was like on a, a some it was like on a high step, so it looked like it was really long. But when it came down, it wasn't. But I just thought it was really still a very nice mirror to have. So this is it in its entirety. I'm on my way to work, you guys, but I wanted to get you a better clip of the mirror before I go. And the, mo the wall um, is so low, so it was hard for me to put it up higher. And I also did get the dining chairs in, so I can't wait to show you guys the dining chairs. You guys, I absolutely love them. I love the color, I love the texture. For the price I paid, I think the dining chairs look amazing and they go with my aesthetic and the earth tone, color tones that I'm using within my home. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna head out for work and I'm going to see you later. Hey, you guys, it is another day and I'm here at work. It is like, what, what time is it? It's 12.30 a.m. in the morning. And I was just walking around the yard and I was just thinking to myself, I just turned 40 years old this year and I am now coming into myself. Is that a bad thing? Does that happen to a lot of a majority or a lot of people? But I'm finding my sense of style now. I just feel like everything for me is just starting over now that I'm 40. I guess maybe because it's a new decade, you know? All of the old things that I used to like, I don't like anymore. Old conversations that I used to have, I can't tolerate, I can't entertain anymore. That's a space and a place that I'm in. And I'm just really loving my alone time. I'm loving the peace that I have. But then at the same time, me working these two full-time jobs has caused me to emotionally disconnect from like friends and family because I'm just so tired, I'm so frustrated. It's making me so angry. And I was talking to my friend today and she was like, Shanika, you know what I mean? You have to listen to our body, especially when your body is telling you that it's tired, it's overworked, you have to stop, you have to take care of yourself. And she was like, she asked me, she said, what is your end date? What is the end date? And I never thought about that. I just said to myself, once I catch up with all my bills and get my finances where I want them to be, you know, then I'll stop. But I never picked a specific date or wrote it down or took it seriously. So I'm glad she put that thought in my mind because this weekend, God willing, I'm going to take the time to write down my goals again, write down my dreams and visions. And I'm praying to God that my creativity comes back because I'm so exhausted and tired that I can't even stop to think and come up with all these witty inventions and ideas. And, you know, I was in a place where the Holy Spirit who just inspired me on things he would want me to teach to talk about teach and pray about and because i've been so tired and exhausted it's like i've become dumb, dull of hearing and i just need to sleep in order to you know kind of beat that exhaustion so i just want to kind of talk to you guys about that because i was just walking around in this yard just thinking about stuff like that and it came to me and i was just like god this is how i feel this is what's going on so i mean if you've been through that um, and you've got through it. What are some things that you did? You know? Alright guys, I'm gonna get back to work. If I have any more thoughts, I'll come back on. You know what else I was thinking, you guys? As I was just sitting here in my thoughts. I was like, you know what? Fall just started. I just started decorating for... I just finished decorating for fall. And Thanksgiving. But it just seems like the world is always pushing us so fast you know what I mean it, it's like we can't ever get to really sit and enjoy the moment it just feels like we're always being rushed like here we are in the middle of fall Thanksgiving hasn't even come yet 
and all the stores completely cleared out all of their fall items, all of their fall decor, fall clothing, and now when you walk into these stores, everything is all about Christmas. Christmas decor, Christmas decorations, Christmas sweaters, Christmas clothes, Christmas gifts. It's like, my goodness, we need to slow down. And that's why we can't allow ourselves to be controlled by the world and the world systems. God wants us to come out of that. God doesn't rush you to do things. So that's what I've just been sitting here and thinking about. Because like, when I start to really think about it or when I go into those stores, I kind of feel pressured into feeling like I have to buy that stuff. I don't know. I think I just need to stay out of the stores for a while. I just have so many thoughts that are just running through my mind that it's now that I'm really just taking the time since it's so quiet to just really explore those thoughts. Anyway, how do you guys feel about everything that I'm talking about? Do you feel rushed into Christmas and you, you didn't, you're not getting to enjoy the fall season and um, Thanksgiving? That's how I feel. Like, don't rush me. I'm telling you that there ain't no other way. Pack your bags and then you will go away. I'm not gonna be begging you to stay. Mm -hmm. Say maybe if you asked me yesterday, I would handle this shit differently. Things are different, I'm a new me. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. That's not, that's not gonna happen. So even if you're asking, even, even if you're asking, cause I do. like this one better but this one's cheaper I don't know okay you guys so we are taking a quick break from all that home decor stuff but I am in Ross right now and I'm trying on these brown beautiful uh, pants and I think I really like this I wish it was just a little bit longer don't mind the socks it's probably throwing you off but I'm gonna get them it's super cute I like how it looks on my waist side I think once I lose some weight, it'll loosen up on the butt part, but I'm going to get these. These look super nice. So I'm going to get these. I think they're cute, guys. With a nice cream sweater. Perfect for the fall. And I'm going to try these on. I like these better than the other ones that I have because it's supposed to be baggy, but it's a size 13, 31, so I don't know if it's going to fit. I need probably like a 15. Okay, you guys, so I think I like this one better than the other one because it's more toned down. And I like the fact that these are a little bit longer. But the problem is they are stretch, right? So if I get the 15, it's gonna be real big in the waist, but I'm thinking I can do a belt because look at the back. I mean, I can pull, pull the string to pull it in. But then I still think it's just a little bit too tight on the butt part for me. But I still like this fit better than the other one. What you guys think? I'm going to get it. Play around with it at home. We're going to do a comparison to the other one. But I think I'm loving this one better because it's like a muted leopard print. It's like a real cheetah. The other one is like a real bright one. And I just like the fact that the legs are a bit longer. You don't tell me. This is like one I would wear. Every day, I think she needs this. It's supposed to be baggy. It's not there. It's not even. It's like it. I'm gonna lose some weight. It's gonna be cute. Oh, and let me show y'all. I'm gonna get this basket um, to put our shoes in and just to hide our stuff under the console table. So we're gonna see how that looks. Vibrant, this specific pair 
is and it's baggy or it's an extra large. I was thinking eventually maybe I could cut these into some type of shorts. And then these are the new ones that I bought. So I can't return this one because I lost the receipt so I'm so upset about it but I could always turn it into shorts and I can, they are clearly different. One is more vibrant than the other. So I'm gonna keep both. And yeah, I think I got a really good deal on these. Both of them actually. I really love this one. I like this one too, but I absolutely love this one. Because it's not as loud as this one. But they're both really good. I may even resell them on my Poshmark. how vibrant that looks like a real jaguar and then you have this one which is more muted and it looks like a cheetah girl i see your face everywhere when i'm going out you'll be there Cause everything reminds me of you i can't take no more girl i think i'm losing my mind try to go to work but i lost track of time Cause everyone keep looking like you i can't take no more From your hands and your body It hurts so much To think of you as someone else Can't get enough When you're sweet talking to me Now I'm talking sweet over myself Put your arms around me Put your faith in me Put your love on me What you need from me Need your love on me Put your love on me I'ma do everything for you I don't want anyone but you Stop the clock and rewind Go back to that moment in time When you say you want me for life Was it all a lie? I gave my all to deserve ya Begging on my knees just to show ya You're the one I want and I love ya No, 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 no lie I miss your touch From your hands and your body It hurts so much To think of you as someone else Sweet talking to me Now I'm talking sweet all by myself Put your arms around me Put your faith in me Put your love on me What you need from me Need your love on me Put your love on me I'ma do everything for you I don't want anyone but you Put your arms around me Put your faith in me Put your love on me They come in white, brown, black, and white. I didn't get the white because it would get dirty really fast, but I did get this nice beige color. Um, they're extremely comfortable. Memory foam feel like with this teddy bear material. If you're wondering how big the box is, um, if you order it when it comes in now, this is how big the box is. It's not big at all. Um, it came in two boxes. And I got a chisel of four. So I'm just going to show you what all four of the chisels look like around the table. And yeah, like I just showed you, it's very, very easy to put together. I got it from Amazon. And the other chairs that I had, I sold on Facebook Marketplace. So let me show you. So you guys, this looks, wow. 
Oh, it looks better on my iPhone. Maybe I just can't. So this is what it looks like, guys. As you can see, it matches the bar stools. But this is what it looks like around the table with all four of the chairs. So nice. Anyway, today is Saturday and we are about to go run our Saturday errands. It is currently, what time is it? 7.45 in the morning, 7.45 a.m. So we are going to get an early start because I don't like to deal with traffic and crowds and long lines. And I want to hurry up and get back home because I do have to work tonight from 12 to 8.30 a.m. So I'm currently getting ready. I just want to show you guys and, you know, just um, start off the vlog the right way. And then I show you guys what I did with the Target jeans because that's what I plan to wear today. Um, for the Target um, mid-rise 90 relaxed um, straight jeans, which I got in like this grayish, uh, blackish uh, color. They are so, so nice. They're originally $30. I got them on sale for $14. Um, when I buy jeans, I always have a huge issue around the waist where it's always gapping in the back um, or maybe too tight on the bum but fits at the waist. So what I did was I just cut like a little tiny hole as you can see right here, right? really tiny hole only you'll be able to see it from the inside on each side i took a nice shoestring um you want to make sure that the shoe uh, sorry if it's not focusing has this um it's wrapped up like this well it just looks like this because it'll be easier for you to insert um and then i just kind of just pushed it through all the way until i got to the end of the other side now that took me about 25 minutes to do Okay, now that I have the jeans on, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like with the string in there, if it's going to look better in the back. But absolutely love wide, wild fable jeans. I find for me, because I'm heavy on the bottom, express jeans, oh my gosh. When I can find a good pair, a good style, they will last me years every time I get express clothes, but their jeans are very nice and stretchy. So if you're like a curvy girl, or you have the same size shape, same shape as me. Express is really good for jeans. And um, Target jeans has been really good too for me. Um, I'm a size 12. I could possibly do a size 14, depending on the style of the jeans, but they look really good. But as you can see, it looks way better. The fit of the jeans look way better now that I'm able to scrunch it in. So that helps with it a lot. So I'm going to wear these today. I'm not sure what top I was going to wear with it. I was just going to do like a silk black top. And you can, you just tie it like this. Tuck it in. Flip your pants up and you're good to go. So I wanted to show you guys how the Wild Fable jeans turned out. I'm definitely keeping them. I love them. And they're extremely comfortable and now i feel more confident with that like having that scrunch so i'm thinking i was gonna do my adidas the sambas but i'm gonna do i'm thinking i'm gonna do this because it's florida so it's hot outside so i was gonna put this baby on so here you guys i'm gonna go finish getting ready and i'm gonna get out of here shirt but I was thinking of doing this Zara black satin top silk or satin top I think that would be cute and kind of dress it up so it's not so casual or does this go with this I don't know this since it's hot outside I was thinking maybe I could just
And the other black top that I do have that I, I'm thinking of possibly wearing, but I'm wearing gold, so I'm not sure. But I want to do that. I wanted to, maybe was going to do this top. This top is so pretty, but it has the silver buttons. And when you guys, it's very good to just have a lot of basics. I got this, um, the Target basic uh, t-shirts from any day they are amazing i got it in every single color i'm going to do this in my fall uh clothing haul video i got it in every single color um the texture the quality the way it feels on your skin is amazing and um when you want to throw on a cute or quick outfit you can just throw it on with something like this so i'm going to talk to you guys later i'm going to get ready and i'll be back soon so you guys, this is the look. I had to put the hat on. I'm so mad. I have to buy a black hat, a black version to this. But I'm so mad because I had to put the hat on because my hair started flaking. So I got to wash it when I get back. But this is the look. I think it looks really nice. I could do my Adidas Simbas or those shoes I told you that I was going to do. So I'm going to head out of here because the store opens at 830. But I just want to show you guys the finished look. All right, you guys, so I finally found a pair of Army Fatigue pants, the exact print that I like, and it's scrunched at the waist. It has the string, it has a string on the sides. So I could just leave it wide leg and get it, and this is how it looks in the back. These are a yes, so we're definitely gonna be getting these pants. I wonder if I could wait, I don't think I could wait these to work, but these are a yes. This is like airport, I can wear.